Welcome to the Renai Sensei Tankless Water Heater podcast entitled, What's New? The objective of this podcast is to briefly explain the differences between the previous models and Sensei. A look inside Sensei reveals a more compact design, allowing for ease of service, stainless steel heat exchangers, and no more dip switches, among other changes. The most exciting change is you can now vent a Renai tankless water heater with 2-inch PVC 636 vent pipe. Another addition to the model lineup is a new, smaller concentric vent pipe, 2-inch by 4-inch. The existing 3-inch by 5-inch concentric is compatible with Sensei. Renai's concentric vent options mean one less wall penetration and more flexibility to vent termination clearances. We will now move on to the new product lineup. The new condensing and value series. As you can see in this chart, Renai has changed the model numbers for Sensei. Previous models used maximum flow rates in their nomenclature. Sensei will use maximum BTUs. The letter C has been dropped entirely. The small letter I refers to internal units as opposed to external units sold in warmer climates. The RUC-98 and RUC-90s have been directly replaced by the RU-199 and RU-180. The RUC-80 model has been replaced by the RU-160, as you can see with the red arrow. This means we'll get a little more flow out of the previous model of RUC-80. There's a new model entirely, the RU-130. This will be ideal for homes with one shower. The RUR-98's new replacement nomenclature is RUR-199. And as you can see, there is a new model, a smaller recirc. That'll be good for homes with two showers at the same, going at the same time. If you look directly to the right, you'll see the word new above the MC199T or control R module. This is a significant change. The RUR98 came with a hardwire controller, the MC199. That's been changed. There will no longer be a recirculation control in the box. In the RUR199 or the RUR160, you will have to select how you want to control recirculation. The heater will work as a water heater alone, but it won't be able to recirculate. So the contractor or yourself have to either order an MC199 hardwire controller or the Control R module. The Control R module will allow the homeowner to use either push button, motion detector, or the smart app as a means of controlling recirculation. Moving on to commercial. C199 has been replaced by CU199, and there is a smaller model for commercial, the CU160. At the end of this presentation will be an email address you can send any questions to. Having covered the changes in the product lineup, we can now move on to changes in venting. Renai Sensei will offer the most venting solutions and the longest 2-inch PVC 636 vent runs. In the 2-inch, we have a maximum of 65 equivalent feet. Keeping in mind, when with equivalent, we mean that the addition of a 90-degree elbow adds 5 inches to the total. A 45-degree elbow adds 2.5 inches. If longer than 65 equivalent feet, then you would need to use 3 inch from the heater to a maximum of 150 equivalent feet. And finally at the bottom, Renai is the only tankless manufacturer offering concentric vent options now with a second smaller concentric vent pipe, the 2 by 4 inch. The 2 inch ring and cap design allows for ease of installation and multiple venting options. If using either concentric vent pipes, remove the center vent cap option, leaving the smaller end cap to the left in place. With the concentric vent 3x5, we can go up to 150 feet equivalent, and with 2x4 concentric vent pipe, we can go to a 65 equivalent feet. If using 2-inch PVC 636, then leave the attached vent cap 
in place and open the cap to the left. The new 2x4 concentric vent pipe reduces internally from 3x5 to fit the openings on the water heater. The 2x4 is smaller, lighter, and less cost than the 3x5 concentric. Of note, half of Renai condensing water heaters are installed with concentric venting. If going vertically off the top of the water heater with the 2x4 concentric venting, a coupler would be added on top of the water heater. Sensei can also be single piped if sufficient combustion air is available and can also be two piped to different sides of the house, unbalanced zones, so one pipe could go on the east side, one pipe could go on the north, for example. For multiple water heater applications, a common vent system is available. Moving on to other changes and additions to the Sensei model lineup. The new Sensei models will have an internal, an integrated check valve has been added. This creates additional venting solutions, also improves freeze protection down to minus 30 Celsius. Included with every Sensei water heater is an easy hang mounting bracket. Converting an installed Sensei water heater from natural gas to liquid propane or vice versa will now be easier with the quick and easy gas conversion kit. Integrated controls on Sensei tankless water heaters eliminates the dip switches on previous models, making setup and commissioning easier and quicker for the homeowner. Integrated controls on Sensei tankless water heaters eliminates dip switches on previous models. The multi-position pressure relief valve included with Sensei tankless water heaters can be rotated 360 degrees to accommodate any application. These next seven slides will highlight the operational performance of Renai Sensei tankless water heaters. As highlighted in this slide, all key components of Renai Sensei tankless water heaters are designed and manufactured by Renai, including the 400 series stainless steel heat exchangers. Renai Sensei tankless water heaters can work with half inch gas line, but, uh, but as always, local code prevails. An integrated controller is included with every Renai Sensei tankless water heater. For multiple applications, an Easy Connect cable would have to be ordered and installed separately. The recirculation models RU199 and the new RU160 can work in a home with either a dedicated recirculation line or in most homes with two pipes, a bypass valve would be installed at the fixture furthest away from the water heater. The previous model of recirculation, the RUR199, came with an MC195T hardwire controller. The Sensei recirculation models, the RU199 and RU160, will require one of two accessory controllers. Without one of these controllers, the RU199 and RU160 can recirculate 24-7 lowering life expectancy of the water heater and increasing the homeowner's energy costs. To control recirculation in the home, one of these two controllers needs to be added to the RUC, RU199 and RU160. First, the existing MC199, 195, sorry, T is a hardwire based controller. The homeowner then schedules when they want their water heater to go into recirculation. The second option is the control R module. When the control R module is installed, recirculation can be controlled by one of the following, motion detectors, push buttons, or the more common smartphone app. From the app, the homeowner has the highest level of convenience and luxury with their water heater. The Renai Control R app can be downloaded from the Play Store for free. With the Wi-Fi app, homeowners can allow their service provider to monitor their water heater. 
These final slides will review the serviceability features of the Renai Sensei tankless water heaters. Every component of Renai Sensei tankless water heaters has been designed to be removed in under 10 minutes. Rather than a staged burner sequence, the entire burner surface area of the Sensei comes on at the same time in low inputs. Renai chose 400 series stainless steel heat exchangers for Sensei due to the potential of condensate at these lower inputs. This concludes our podcast on Renai Sensei tankless water heaters, What's New? Please send any questions to contact Fowler Sales at gmail.com. Thank you for your time and happy selling.